I've been collecting for over 50 years, and at many shows, I would go at the end of the show, and the guy would have a table full of lures similar to this, and I'd say, well, how was your show? And he said, you know, it's a really bad show. And I said, well, what would you take for your full table? And he said, oh, no, you can't have this lure, you can't have that lure. I said, well, take all those lures you really like out, and I'd buy the whole table. Well, you do this for 50 years, you, you accumulate a lot of bargains. Retro bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. We are just getting set up at the Florida Antique Lore Collectors Show here in St. Augustine, Florida. Oh man, it is going to be a pretty wild couple of days. This is my first time at this show. I was actually talking to a few members of the uh, FATC up at the Savannah Show, and they said that if I liked what I saw there, that I had to get here because this show is even bigger. And looking around, they did not lie. So I am super excited. In fact, I actually decided that I had to go ahead and get myself a Retro Bassin booth. So I've got that. I brought some Retro Bassin merch, but primarily the reason that I'm here is to go around and talk to some of the great collectors and film some of their amazing collections, as well as hopefully pick a few pieces of old school gold. Sort of like a casino. If I can get out of here with a net zero, I'll be pretty happy. Not so sure that's going to happen, but we will see. All right, Ed, so show me how to properly go through your collection of super bargains. These are my super bargains, so, you know, it's really, really simple. I have a box full of super bargains. In fact, I've got four boxes full of super bargain, and I have an empty box beside it. So that you don't miss anything, I want you to look at it. And if you don't want it, you throw it in the box next to you. If you want it, then I want you to put it in a bag. And that, so then I can sell it to you. That makes sense, doesn't it? So it's just a simple process. Oh no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Ooh, I like that. Look at that, that's a vintage water turkey in Florida. Man, that's regularly a $25 lure and it's only $10. I'm keeping that sucker. And that's how it works. It's very, very simple. And people really enjoy this is my big seller in the show, is my bargain boxes. Well, I wasn't lying. Ed happened to be sitting up right next to me, and I took a quick gander at his box of super bargains, and I was like, hey, I've got to grab some of these real quick, and of course, I want to do it on film. So here is the first box of one, two, three, four boxes of super bargains, and oh, I, I'm already uh, in the negative column for this show, but that's okay. Look what is sitting right up on top there. A gorgeous Dalton Special, a limited Barracuda. Uh, in fact, I just caught a bass on the Dalton Special the other week and at five bucks, yeah, that one's coming with. <laughs> it did not take long, did it? Uh, yet another Dalton Special at five bucks and maybe I think I need to get my buddy Ted Lincoln on the wooden Dalton Special. Right now he's got the Dalton Flash in a plastic pattern. So I'm gonna grab probably any Daltons that I see here, and I see a few. <laughs> Ooh, there is a uh, limited Barracuda Dalton Special in a gold sparkle, and that is a smaller one. If you look at the big one and the small one, awesome. <laughs> uh, we are indeed at the Florida Antique Tackle Collectors Club. Look at this, nothing but some old school Daltons, uh, which of course were made in Florida back in the day. I love the old school packaging, and by the way, it's actually in some great, great shape. And another one, I'm gonna assume that one is five bucks. We'll have to ask Ed. Ooh, a nice uh, Bayou Boogie. Looks like a Whopper Stopper for three bucks on the card. I've gotta start putting some stuff in the no pile, but I will. Uh, nice Mud Bug, four bucks. Yeah, I'll put that one in the no pile for now. 
Vintage jitterbug. That's actually a great looking jitterbug. Three bucks on that guy. I uh, got a clear head and crazy crawler. I think that's the small one. Eight bucks. Ooh, look at that Cisco kid. Eight bucks in the box. Little jitterbug there. <laughs> Ooh, is this the uh, most revolutionary fishing lure ever designed? I think it is. For eight bucks, the hooker, mint in box. <laughs> That's a good one. I probably need to catch a bass on that thing at some point. Oh, wow. That's a good one. A good looking Fluger in a, uh, what is that? The Super Color, eight bucks. That's actually a nice bait. I'm going to probably regret not getting this one. I, I need to probably try to stick to the three and fivers this morning, at least before I sell some retro gear. Nice limited heck, head and lucky 13. Oh man. <laughs> what is this? A vintage Ralph uh, Blendick uh, made from fake royal wood. Look at that. Ooh, what do we have here? A old school Hawaiian wiggler, new in the box. Let's check this guy out. In fact, having been recently throwing uh, the Snagless Sally, that's almost like the Arbogast version of it. That's a really cool looking bait. I have no idea how much that is, but that's a nice looking little bait there. Man. I'm gonna put that one off to the side and ask Ed about that one. All right, so let's see what else we see here. Try to find the, some unique stuff. <laughs> there's, just, there's just so, I mean, you literally could spend an hour going through each of these boxes. And what I love about this show compared to some eBay prices is, look at the, look at the prices here. You've got an unfished Hawaiian Wiggler for four bucks. That's actually a really good looking bait. And I might buy that one just to turn that one into a fisher, to be honest with you. Florida is basically custom made for baits like this. So let's take a look here. Ooh, that one has got a nice little blade, a heavy uh, head, weed guard, four bucks. Yeah, that one's going to my Arbogast tackle box, 100%. <laughs> oh, man. See what I'm saying? It's like Vegas. If you break even, you're lucky. And uh, I got a bad feeling I'm not going to be breaking even. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, oh, that's nice. Uh, a vintage Arbogast Hustler, unfished in the box for four bucks. I'm pretty good on crankbaits, but man, uh, that's one I probably will regret not getting. What is this? Four bucks for a vintage Preston's uh, Minnow Mint. Ah, oh, it's good looking topwater bait. I don't know that one. Another Cisco kid for eight bucks. If I was into some musky, that'd be the bait. There's something old. What is this thing? A vintage Fluger Mustang for musky. That's actually a really cool bait. And look at that. It's got that metal on the top and the bottom. I don't know if that's just to attract fish or if that's to prevent the fish from biting through the lure. <laughs> so here we've got another unique head and what is this one? A limited Zara Spook 2 mint and for eight bucks that's a nice looking top water isn't it man i wonder uh, uh if that was five or i'd get it i mean i'm sure that's still a good deal but again i'm going to try to limit my spend uh at least before noon today 
All right, last, what do we have here? Ooh, a little head and river runt with the two-piece hardware. Check out that deal, three bucks. That is a heck of a deal for that bait. Um, okay, I think that's pretty good for, for box number one. I'm sure I'm missing some stuff. <laughs> Saltwater spook, I know I'm missing some stuff, but I've got to get on and get to these other four boxes uh, before I take a walk around this place. All right, here we are in box number two of four. <laughs> I'm already putting a hurting on this thing. What is this? A vintage Ben Franklin from Orlando, Florida. Look at that. Almost looks like a devil's horse or something. That's a great looking bait. Uh, <laughs> this show is just trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Uh, another vintage Preston's Wood. Saw one of those before. What is this? A vintage Bob Burris Mint signed uh, Naples, Florida. That is a heck of a popper. Look at the nose on that sucker. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? A uh, head and drop Zara, only made for four years. This is a really cool Zara spook. What this has, it's got a through line in there and the treble hook is just actually free swinging so that if you catch a fish and their head shakes, they can't use the weight of the lure to lose the hook. That's a nice one for eight bucks. That's a heck of a deal. Um, I'm gonna put that one over here for a minute. <sighs> Again, the goal was not to get any lures over five bucks for starting, but man, this is uh, this is tough. So here's a vintage Browns. Uh, what is this? A Fisheretto surface lure for eight bucks. Good looking bait. There's a little Cisco kid. If the uh, musky gets small on you, that's nice. Four bucks. There's another head and drop Zara Spook. In the old G finish color, I love that one. Ah, this is a cool bait. I think this is like a saltwater bait. The Vintage Creek Chub. Yeah, this is the Wiggle Diver. I've actually been eyeing these a little bit. Not that I've got a ton of places to throw this, but that's a good looking bait. Only five bucks. Ooh, so here's an early Dalton special. Before Barracuda, that's actually a really good looking bait. Check out the old school box, Shakespeare box, 10 bucks. Another musky lure for 10 bucks. That's a big sucker. All right, what do we have here? Uh, vintage Hedden River Runt, four bucks in the box. I love that era of Hedden. That's such a cool era. Very, uh, very retro. Oh my goodness, this box is the big one. Ooh, there's a vintage Arbogast Sputter Buzz unfished. Doesn't have the price, but I got a feeling that's probably five bucks or so. All right, this one is gonna be deep. I'm gonna have to just go quick and get through some of this stuff. There's a lot of good stuff here. <laughs> like a Schlitz spoon for three bucks. Uh, this is gonna be a tough show. I gotta, t I gotta tell you, this is gonna be a tough show. What is this? Nice vintage Ben Franklin Orlando lure for four bucks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Spoons and lures and, oh my goodness. Oh, that's pretty cool. A head in, looks like a supersonic keychain for eight bucks. And I do see this, ooh. Is that a little Prowler Mint for five bucks? Oh, you are not gonna get one of those for five bucks <laughs> on eBay. That is so cool. Ooh, there we go, nice Arbogast Mud Bug for three bucks. That's actually a great looking bait and my favorite size of the Mud Bug. Oh man, is there a spook? <laughs> Just <laughs> nuts. Oh, there's another one of those uh, Creek Chub Wiggle Divers for five bucks. Cool bait. Ah, is this a Mercury Minnow? <laughs> if that is, that means that's got mercury in it, so you wouldn't want to cast that into a dock or a rock. 
All right, here we go. This is a pretty cool one, a Wright McGill Miracle Minnow. Uh, I've seen that bait. I've actually got a few of those in my tackle box already. But for four bucks, that's a pretty sweet little shallow diver. What is this thing? I see something big. Big and old. Ooh, vintage South Bend Surface Areno for five bucks. Look at that. That looks like a good fisher, doesn't it? Oh man, I'm gonna put that off to the side. I got a feeling somebody could catch a big old bass in a Florida lake on that thing. Got some LNS mirror lures. So many lures, so little money. All right. There's a nice vintage Arbogast in a frog pattern for three bucks. That's a great looking bait. Vintage Norman Super Chugger. <laughs> Maybe if I was fishing for a Kubera Snapper or something, that's a monster. Oh, this is pretty cool. Yeah, the old Lulu lure. It's an old gimmick lure. I think it's missing the propeller. <laughs> uh, my goodness. What do we have here? Oh, nice Reese bait mint. That's a good looking bait. Ten bucks from Florida. Ooh. Oh, they got a few of those. That's pretty cool. Who sold you? Uh, no, sir. I'm just here, uh, just picking. Just picking. Ooh, there's a good looking Rebel Fast Track Minnow. G finish for three bucks. What is this swim bait looking thing? A vintage knack. Troll Ike musky size. The gentleman down there does. The red, the red on? That is. Wow, that's a, look at that bait. <laughs> you see, I've already resorted just to, just moving stuff out of the way. Two boxes in. Nice Norman. And what do we have? One more of those. Oh, that's so cool, that drops are a spook. Man. Hmm. I might have to grab one of those before the show's over if these are still here later. All right, we're moving on to box number three now. <laughs> nice looking Crete chub. Ah, top water, unfished. Ooh, there's a good looking vintage head and tiny torpedo. Oh, there's some cool patches in here. NFLCC 1995. Oh, those are sweet. Another drop Zara. I'm noticing a theme here with some of the baits. That's cool though, because if you do see something you like, odds are there's a few of them. Hawaiian Wiggler, four bucks. Awesome. Look at this, Storm Texas Shad, three bucks. That's a good looking bait. I've got a plenty of those, but I like that sort of lipless rattle trap version there. Oh, there's a nice Buck Perry spoon plug. That's not a panfish size. Five bucks, it's actually a really good deal for that bait. Those are a few bucks online for sure. Ah, there we go. Another little one. What do we have here? Arbogast Topwater Mint. Oh, that's Fred's Fido. Sort of a walking dog type bait. Four bucks. Nice. Ah, here's a good looking one. All right, now we are down to the final box of this four box set. Man. <laughs> I deal with a lot of Japanese head and stuff. I love it, look at that. 
No, a ton of that stuff. A ton of these drop Zara spooks. I love these things. Oh, it's a good looking old bomber there. Whew. Four bucks. Sometimes you find stuff. I've dealt with this guy before. I do like that Z bomber. What is that? A stick yeah, in mint? Ooh, that's a good looking bait. Hmm. Put that off to the side. Oh, there's a little one. Ooh, that's a good looking little Dalton. Look at that tiny guy. Wow. Uh, Creek Chub Jointed Pikey. A little bit deep for my current needs, but good looking bait. Oh, there's a Lazy Ike, I see. Three of them, actually. So it says vintage flatfish, but I'll see one Lazy Ike in there as well. Two flatfish. And there we go, a limited edition head and supersonic for eight bucks. Ooh, what is this thing? Real snakeskin torpedo. Ooh, mint. Ten bucks. Wow. There's a little Cisco kid. More of a bass size. Four bucks. Oh, there we go. A limited edition Big O mint. Yeah, this is the... Uh, the one from Cabela's a number of years ago. It actually remade all the Fred C. Young Big O's in wood. Eight bucks. That's a pretty cool deal if you wanted to fish one of those. Ooh, that's a good looking Zara spook, isn't it? Wow. Special, special. Check out all these Daltons. All right, sir, there we go. That's my uh, bag of goodies. You found a couple of things. My goodness. Oh. So how did I make out, by the way? We are at the Florida show, so you can kind of oh. think see a theme to some of my uh, my purchases today. Yeah, I see you got the, the uh, Dalton special with the gold glitter. That's there. They're really beautiful lures. Uh -huh. Set these down. Oh, yeah. Oh, you liked those, didn't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> I got a few of them. I think you wiped me out. I've been known to do that before. Oh, you did all the Daltons. Have you got anything in, in here besides Daltons? I think I did mostly Daltons, actually. You know, that's the reason, gentlemen, just a couple of minutes ago, he says, do you have any Daltons? <laughs> and I said, yeah, there's a bunch of in my super bargain box down there. And he said, I didn't find any. Yeah, I think I, uh, that's why I jumped on. I had a feeling the Daltons were going to go this show. Yeah, they, uh, no, you got some real bargains there. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. So, uh, sorry I took your Daltons, but. No, no that's fine. <laughs> now, if I can get you interested in something else, it'll be even better. <laughs> Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.